today we'll be talking about um, facing challenges, how myself and John T have overcome certain challenges in our lives, um, and digging into how some of the methods we deal with stress. Um, yeah, as always, we hope you enjoy. John T, yeah. so talk to me about facing challenges and you know, in such, a, such an unprecedented time, that word, that word unprecedented has been thrown around so much the past mm. few weeks, um, you know, with coronavirus and everything, it's, it's quite, uh, you know, definitely like part of the, part of our title of this episode is dealing with challenges and what, what wow. other massive challenge to deal with other than coronavirus. Definitely a, definitely a good time, I think, to focus on this topic. And yeah, I want to, I mentioned it actually in one of my posts early on in the year uh, on LinkedIn. And it was speaking about the, one of the books that I've read um, with regards to facing challenges and obstacles. And it's actually called The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. And basically it uses a, a mix of techniques, but it focuses a lot on um, being stoic and stoicism. stoicism. It's actually such a hard word to pronounce. I, <laughs> with it. I used to think it was stoic or stoic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like stoic yeah, now. Yeah, um, yeah. And basically... <laughs> You know, that actually refers to a person who can endure pain or hardship without showing their feelings or complaining. And basically, it's, it's the book goes into many techniques and ways of changing your mindset. But the whole idea is shifting your perspective. So from looking at challenges and being like, oh, I wish this didn't happen to me or this negative thing didn't go my way to actually saying, I love that this is happening to me. Mm, and exactly. I love that I'm facing this challenge because I, I know that ultimately through this tough and challenging period, I'm going to come out stronger. And I think if you realize that, you know, in life, you're going to face many tough and challenging times and you realize that those times are going to help you grow and become a better person or a better version of yourself, then exactly. your whole view of facing challenges will, will change and you'll, you'll be able to get through those tough times a whole lot easier. And, um, yeah, yeah exactly. I, just think, I mean, like that's, that's yeah. so true. I love the point about like, reframing your perspective um about the challenges and saying like like falling in love with falling in love with like the process of being in the way of an obstacle like like having an obstacle or having a challenge way. yeah yeah having a challenge because you know i like i can say for myself is that you know i've definitely been in that space where you know the motivation's low you you reach a point where maybe on a problem like in my university work or uh you know some sort of work related issue um mm. you you hit an obstacle you hit a challenge and you just like you throw everything you throw everything out and you're like no i'm i can't do this um this challenge is too much uh yeah i mean i can i can definitely say for myself that that's something yeah. i need to work on um, more is just reframing perspective reframing how you view it yeah and it's 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 such a simple little change in mindset and we spoke about it a little bit in the last episode with gratitude and it's that little shift those small shifts in mindset that can make the ultimate difference exactly exactly and then i mean also also you know it's worth it's worth noting that then also that that like correct me if i'm wrong that that shift in perspective then means that you're shifting to more positive mindset more than a negative mindset correct because i mean obviously <laughs> if you want to be in your uh, best uh, sort of uh, your best sort of state to deal with the challenge or an obstacle you want to be positive you want to you know because you might meet more challenges as you try to address that that initial exactly. challenge right so you yeah. want to be in a more positive mindset to deal with that and just move through failures and you know move with speed yeah exactly and so i actually posted i wanted to just share a little post that i shared the other day on linkedin and it kind of leads into this topic that we're speaking about and so the quote that it started with was two men sat behind prison bars. One saw mud, the other saw stars. Um, it's by Dale Carnegie. Mm. And yeah, I just love that post because, you know, no matter your circumstances, you can always choose, choose to show, you know, how, how, how this is going to affect your life or how you want it to affect your life. And um, I think, you know, that's a, that's a classic example is, you know, bad things can be happening to you. You know, we got COVID-19, we're in this lockdown, we can't control those circumstances. We can't control, you know, that we're facing these, these challenges and these terrible times. But what we can control is how we want to respond to that and how we want to frame our mindset towards it. And I think um, it summed up quite perfectly in that, in that quote, uh, but also, um, yeah, 
So <laughs> no, you know exactly, and I mean yeah. I, it, that's that's so true. Um, first and foremost, the mindset. The mindset is so is so important because that's your starting that's your starting place. That's your foundation. Um, exactly. I also saw such an amazing TED talk that that also ties in because you know with any challenge or obstacle we face, there's going to be stress, right? So mm. I saw this amazing TED talk. It's about reframing stress, or uh, I can't remember the exact title, um, but this, uh, the, the lady who does the talk, she basically says, tries to reframe the, your perspective on stress by saying, mm. um, don't think of the stress as something that's trying to hold you back. You know, it, you know, um, I'm sure most people can relate to this is, you know, when you do like before you do a speech or you do public speaking, uh, in front of a large audience, I know that when I've done a big public speaking sort of thing in front of a large audience, I always get that feeling in my chest the heart's pounding mm, the nerves that, like yeah, yeah that big like butterfly on your chest exactly that big pressure in your chest um yeah. and she basically says like you know all those feelings take them and in your mind reframe them to say oh these feelings are preparing my body and helping me to actually face this challenge and and perform at my best so it's like reframing sure. stress and like i i was like Dude, this is crazy like this is yeah this that's is so cool, i mean you know? That's the first time I'm hearing that. Um, and that's yo, it's just that's that simple really like, answer that shit. It's, it's so simple because you always you, you have those feel you have those feelings, and yeah. you instantly go to that place where oh it's all negative. But imagine that that shift in mindset where you where you feel all those stress uh, feelings and, and cues, but mm. then your mind convinces you that your mind convinces your body that these things are helping you to overcome that challenge. So I thought that was amazing. And that's, that's sure. definitely something that I'm going to be working on to overcome challenges in the future. Yeah, yeah, me too. And that, that power of the mind once again. And um, I thought I'd also just share a little bit speaking about on the mindset and how you deal with and face challenges. And um, I read a book a while back. Um, it's called The Choice by Edith Eager. And she was actually a survivor of the Holocaust. Um, and I mean, she endured suffering like you can't believe. And she actually ended up becoming a psychologist. Um, she survived mm. and came mm. out. And Crazy. Uh, I'll just read a, 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 a quote from her book that for me was just a game changer. Mm. Um, and she says, everything can be taken from a man, but one thing, the loss of human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. And I mean, that's going back to that point, like no matter what happens to you, you always have a choice to choose exactly. how you will respond to it. And so oh, I think, you know, that's exactly. super powerful. And that little shift in mindset. Exactly. Um, and choose how you difference. feel and choose how you feel. Hey, John T like, exactly you know, with this whole, that makes me think about the whole coronavirus and the whole crisis that's going, uh, that's going on. You know, I think a lot of people are going to come in to come to face the choice of how do you want to feel about this whole thing that's happening? You know, we, of course, um, I will, I don't want to be insensitive and I don't want to say that, you know, if you've been directly affected by the virus that you should feel happy about it or whatnot, mm. obviously people who have had loved ones, you know, potentially die and fall ill with this thing that it's, it's a, it's a tragedy. And, and I'm not saying that, you know, people need to just stop feeling those feelings if you've been directly affected. Mm. But I think yeah. if you yeah. haven't, and you're lucky enough to be healthy in this time, um, and you're sitting at home, you have a choice whether between complaining and, uh, you know, taking at this as an opportunity, which I, for one, can say that so far I have, I, I've definitely made the choice to treat this whole lockdown and this time at home as an opportunity. Um, case mm. in point and why are we starting this whole podcast thing? This whole podcast could um, never have happened without yeah, this Exactly, exactly. So, period. So I think everyone has a choice with how they feel about this whole thing. Um, you know, if you're lucky enough to not have been affected, I would definitely recommend in making the choice to feel positively and to, it's so much easier to then overcome this whole challenge of mm. dealing, dealing with staying at home. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and ultimately, yeah, we, we know we're going to come out stronger exactly, from this, hopefully exactly. in the long term. Um, I know there's, it's going to be years and years of challenges and, like you said, we don't want to be insensitive to, to anyone's situation, but hopefully in the long term, things will, will come out strong as a, as a country, as a nation, as a world. So Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Bronte, I, thought, I thought a good way to end um, this short episode on overcoming challenges in life is 
if we, you know, you could, if you could start and, and we could basically, you know, what are the ways that talk about the ways that you've dealt with challenges in your life? What, what are the active steps or like a framework to say, you know, how have you dealt with challenges and obstacles in your life thus far? And, um, mm. you know, cause we've all had our, our fair share of, of, you know, personal and, and, uh, you know, professional challenges and obstacles. So, John T. How you know if if I were to say two or three things, you know how have you dealt with? Yeah, this? I think yeah, it, it really goes back to what I said earlier, and um, this book, The Obstacles Away, really has helped me because I think it's just about viewing those challenges instead of being like, I wish this hadn't happened to me. I say actually, I love that this has happened to me. Mm-hmm. I know it's it's a weird concept. Um, it is weird, yeah. <laughs> And it's also about practicing gratitude, which we spoke about in that last episode, being grateful for the challenges that are happening. Mm, and exactly. instead of, you know, looking at it negatively and being, oh, I wish this hadn't happened, whatever, you, you say, well, ultimately, I'm going to come out of this better and stronger and a better person. I'm going to learn. And what can I do in this situation now? And how can I learn from that? And mm. I think, I know if you, if you set like your purpose or your goal in life, if you know what that is. And I think for me, that's becoming a better person um, and in, like growing and improving myself. Um, then that matches and aligns with my goal. Um, so I know when the challenge comes, I'm going to learn and I'm gonna, it's going to exactly. mold me in some way. And, yeah. you know, looking back on the past, there's nothing I would change in my life to the point where I am now. Um, because oh, and that like you're you saying know, that obstacle I am. Yeah, and that obstacle is like a step in the right direction towards your like end vision, your end goal. Like it's part of the process. Person. It's exactly. part of the process, right? Like if yeah. you accept that, if you accept that, it's so much easier then to overcome it. Exactly. You know? And I mean, also it's like this little question that I that I once heard someone asked, uh, it was on a YouTube video I watched. Um, and it, it was basically framing, would you rather have the next five years of your life being perfectly easy amazing like you're just succeeding in all ways or five years of hard like tough times and i know it's like a really really weird question to think about it's so easy you want to be like oh five years of success and perfection and everything but at the end of the day like if you're not going to learn a lot like of course you can learn from good times and Mm. the great things that can happen in great times but i almost want to say my answer to that question is i know it seems weird and counterintuitive but it's probably like if I had to choose that five years, I know in the long term I'll come out better and stronger, and I've learned course, more in that course. in those periods. So it's a, it's an interesting way of thinking of it. But yeah, I yeah. think yeah, it's but I mean, I would I, I would definitely say to you know I would I think I would also choose the the harder path. You know, sitting here now because obviously there's more growth, there's more learning, there's to come out of it. Um, mm. But then what I would say to that is actually then what I would try and do is change my perspective to those, like we've been speaking about so much to those Mm. five years, change my perspective, you know, instead of saying, Oh, they were so hard. They were so, you know, maybe I was at my happiest. Maybe I was, maybe I'm at my happiest when I'm being challenged, when I'm going through the obstacle. So yeah, I would frame it in that way. Um, You know, this whole thing's up to interpretation. You know, if you have five years of hard graft and hard grind, like if you, if you just approach it in a way that that's, you know, you happy doing that and you, you, you willing to, and you know, it's part of your process. Then I, mm. I, I think that's, that's the way you get you, you'll completely overcome that easily. Yeah. hundred um, percent agree. And I think to, to end, uh, you know, in one, one practical, you know, way that I found to overcome challenges is also obviously the, you know, most important, the, the foundation change your mindset, you know, fr- reframe it, but also I think with any challenge and any, any obstacle, something that can look so massive um, is always then to just take a step back and be like, okay, what, what's the easiest thing? What's the path of least resistance? What can I start with mm. first that's going to get me started? Um, and through that, I will, you know, I'll, I'll then tackle this obstacle. Um, you know, it's like, how do you eat an elephant bite by bite or whatever? You know, you, you start small, you, Mm. you build and you build and you build and you just choose the easiest thing to deal with first um, with anything. So I think that's definitely an important point with, uh, you know, yeah. Focus on what you control can control and just choose the easiest thing to deal with in this, in that challenge. Hey everyone, before you go, I just wanted to jump in here and say on behalf of John T and myself, 
Thank you so, so much for watching that episode. We really, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed that episode of MindShift, check out some of our others. They should be around here somewhere on the screen. Also, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like for the YouTube algorithm. If you didn't like it somehow, leave me a comment down below telling me why and I will do my utmost to make sure you enjoy it the next time. Till the next MindShift, bye for now.